Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here. Now that Apple has released Mac OS Tahoe Beta, everyone wants to know what is the status unsupported Macs with Open Core Legacy Patcher. In this video, we're going to go over everything that we know about the current status next. So I want to be clear here. I get the excitement. I'm excited. I cannot wait to start installing Mac OS Tahoe on unsupported Macs. So I can totally understand all the questions, the excitement, and the wanting to try installing Tahoe on your unsupported Mac and just testing it out. But that's why when I do my walkthroughs, I only do it with supported versions of the patcher and I do it through the supported way, which the developers say. Sure, there's a lot of different hacks, there's different things you can do, but when I go through a tutorial, we have to understand that a lot of people follow. And the last thing I would ever want to have happen is something going wrong with your Mac because something wasn't supported or the way that it was being installed doesn't work on your Mac. And I've been installing Open Core Legacy Patcher for over four years, all the way back to the original version of the TUI or the Terminal User Interface. And veterans will remember this screen and me walking others through installing Open Core through the terminal. And this brings back really good memories, just seeing this image here of the TUI. And this is how it was installed way back four years ago for Mac OS Big Sur. And I show that because I've seen it all. I've had my machines get messed up really bad, but I have the ability to get those back working and rescue them. And maybe others might not have the ability to do that or not have all the tools needed or the knowledge to be able to do that. So that's why we're talking about this now. And we're talking about main support. And for example, in the Open Core Legacy patch or Reddit here, there's some obvious talk about, hey, what are you doing? How are you getting it installed? Of course, there's some memes here, you know, don't <laughs> install Tahoe and Vintage Max yet. You're going to have to call in technical support. But unfortunately, there is no technical support. And that's the whole point of discussing this here. So what is the official stance here uh, from the developers? Well, if we look at the Open Core Legacy Patcher documentation, can I update to Mac OS betas? Open Core Legacy Patcher patch development and testing happens at the beta phase in order to target a stable release. As such, it is impossible for Open Core Legacy Patcher to support betas properly in previous versions may be incompatible. Only install a beta if you know what you're doing. Have your expectations in check and don't mind having to fully reset or recover your system. Be advised that no help will be given in situations where a beta is installed. And that's extremely clear. But keep in mind, this is also talking about betas current for Mac OS Sequoia, for example. So if Mac OS Sequoia 15.6 beta comes out tomorrow, this is what they're talking about now. And they're also talking about testing the beta too. This is a whole new release for Mac OS Tahoe. So if we look at the what is open core page here, there is a link to the open core patcher discord server. And you've heard me talk about that before. And that's where you can get the latest information straight from the developers and you can talk with others on Discord. So has anything been said on there regarding official support? Well, let's take a look. So a couple days before WWDC on the 9th, Dina K made this post to the announcements page. And you've heard me mention Dina K and Makola. They are both the main co-authors of Open Core Legacy Patcher. I'm going to say this preemptively. No. Open Core Legacy Patcher does not support Mac OS 16 or 26 yet. And we don't even know what it's even going to be called. There are no ETAs and no, please do not install it on release and then complain that it doesn't work. Yes, I'll repeat this the day of. So that was the first official announcement. Then when Tao was released, the second official announcement was released by DNK. Basically the same thing. No ETAs, estimated time of arrival for Tahoe support. Don't ask, don't try installing it. And if you try installing it, we won't help you. Now, again, I'm not saying that you can't go and test it out. For example, Greg Rucky Mods has installed it on his 2013. It was testing it a little bit and Jesse's Flying was talking about it a little bit. And that's totally fine. If you want to do a test because you have a test device, that's fine. But again, warnings out there just in case something goes wrong. And I don't want something to happen to your Mac because something is not compatible or the EFI is broken and it won't boot at all and it won't boot your other supported operating system. And if this sounds 
a little strong. It is for a reason because, again, they have been doing this for almost five years now and they've seen it all from people installing on their Mac that they need for school or work and then all of a sudden it doesn't work and then they're saying, why is this not working? I can't believe you put software. Well, they just put it out here saying that you should not install it, but you did it anyway and your machine's broke. This is gonna be like this for a little bit of time while the developers take a look at the operating system and see the changes under the hood and see what's going on. Again, it's booting on some systems. I've been looking at some of the testing that's being done and I wanna be able to install it too. But again, I'm, I don't wanna walk anyone through that until we have official, even nightly support. It's possible we might get a beta nightly and you know I'll be right here walking you through. But until then, a very cautious look at this and I have it on my main page when I'm walking through each beta. I have the status right here and I basically say the same thing, please don't install. And I have the statuses and we don't even know if there's going to be a needing another mechanism. Remember, Metalib's support package was put in there just for Mac with Sequoia to get certain things to work. And the same thing with the kernel debug kit earlier. We'll have to see where this goes and as soon as I have any kind of an update, I'll definitely share it with you so we can talk about it. And again, let me know in the comments, for example, what about the iMac Pro? What about any T2 Mac? Remember, unfortunately, um, the T2 2018 MacBook Airs are still not working with Mac OS Sequoia. So that's kind of a work in progress. We're still unknown for some of those newer Macs. We just don't know yet. I'll be keeping a close eye on the whole process here. And if I have anything, I'll definitely put an update to video out and we can talk about it then. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to Open Core Legacy Patcher support for Mac OS Tahoe, because I know I am. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.